have never seen reality. Only a filtered version your mind created. Right now, you believe you're watching a video. You believe you are hearing a voice, but you aren't. You are trapped inside a dark, silent bone vault called your skull. There is no light inside your brain. There is no sound. There are only electrical signals. Here is the scary part. Your brain doesn't process reality in real time. It takes roughly 80 milliseconds for your brain to stitch together the sensory data coming from your eyes and ears. Do you know what that means? It means you are living in the past. Everything you think is happening now actually happened 80 milliseconds ago. You are lagging. Don't believe me? Look at the color magenta. It doesn't exist. It has no wavelength on the light spectrum. Your brain invented it to bridge the gap between red and violet. If your brain can fabricate a color just to make sense of the data, what else is it fabricating? Neuroscience calls this controlled hallucination. Your brain isn't a window to the world. It's a projector. And if the projector breaks, the reality you know dissolves. We are about to dismantle everything you think you know about existence. If you want to see how deep the rabbit hole goes, hit share, hit subscribe, and keep watching because the truth Truth is much stranger than fiction. Welcome to the simulation. Let's try a thought experiment. Imagine your computer desktop. You see a blue trash can icon in the corner. You know that if you drag a file there, it deletes. But I have a question for you. Is that blue icon reality? No. Inside the computer, there is no blue plastic can. There are diodes, voltages, and magnetic transitions. If the computer showed you the reality of the microchips, you wouldn't know how to use it. It would be too complex. So, it gives you a user interface. It gives you a lie to help you use the machine. Evolutionary theorist Donald Hoffman proposes that this is exactly what your brain does. Evolution does not care about truth. Evolution cares about fitness. It cares about survival. If you saw reality as it actually is, the quantum soup of energy fields, the mathematical chaos, you would be paralyzed.